Welcome back to another YouTube video. It's me, Mohammed from Mass Code Tech, and today we will be learning about object types in JavaScript. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe this video, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's hop right into the video. What are object types in JavaScript? An object type is simply a collection of properties in the form of name and value pairs. So guys, I'm right here in the P5JS web editor and I made this simple code just a robot uh, using arrays of objects. So you can check out the video. I'll leave a link down below in the description. Alright, so I first the thing is like I made I, I didn't make this but it was already there the function setup and I put the background in there it's all white the background's all white then I made a I made a variable img image then I typed in function preload then I typed in image is equals to load image robot dot png to preload the image you can check out the video how to upload or add an image in p5js web editor the link will be down below in the description so yeah then i made a function draw draw function and i named it robo so yeah then inside the function i made another i made a variable row baby so robot row baby so a row baby and i put an age three years old the x value 20 and the y value 50 so that's the thing right over here and then i made a robo teen which is the age is 13 the x value is 229 and the y value is 50 which is the one right over here and the var robots is a variable for a function image so we can call it i mean so we can draw it so var robots is equals to function robot image so that's right there and then this is the text so it was really easy and then I called the function and they both are right here. Now I will show you how to do object types. So guys, function, I mean, object types are really easy. They're just making the var, um, a race of object like in shorter way. So you can write this thing in much shorter way. So let me show you how to do it. First, we're going to make a var and let's name it robot. Then is equals to function followed by parentheses and in between the parentheses we're going to type in h comma x comma y and then an open curly bracket and the close curly bracket and in between this open and close curly bracket we're going to type this dot h is equals to h semicolon then this dot x is equals to x semicolon then the last one this dot y is equals to y semicolon all this is doing all this code is doing is const constructing the code to get ready now we're gonna type in the actual code i mean that's not the actual code like we're gonna type in the code so this thing gets easier so we're gonna type in var and name it row baby so it matches this one you can name it whatever you want you can name it something else i'm gonna name it the same thing so row baby is equals to new robot so there will be a new robot which will be the same thing but in an easier code so new robot followed by parentheses in between the parentheses we're gonna put two quotation marks and a three in between them so the age is three and then the x value 20 y value 30 no y value 50 and yeah there we go now we can delete the where row baby that one and the code is still there now we're gonna make it for the second one so where we don't have to make another one of this because we go, we made this for like this thing and that thing like both of them we made it for both so we're gonna make where robo teen is equals to new robot followed by parentheses and in between the parentheses we're going to type in 13 the age comma 
229 comma 50 and we can delete this and there we go our code is loading oh we have a mistake I have missing number 29 I mean 21 what is missing I think I did a mistake right here uh yeah so let's go a little bit back and yeah it's working right here so we have a mistake somewhere right here yep we have a mistake right here I think I accidentally deleted something that's a mistake so I think I accidentally let's try again var robo teen is equals to new robot followed by parentheses and then the age 13 I mean 13 comma the x value 229 comma the y value 50 and then we slowly delete this and yeah so guys our code was successful and now i'm gonna show you one more thing before it's over so yeah you can add more to your uh, code more to your array of object type more to your object type by just typing in but before i'm gonna tell you a trick you can just put quotation marks in between those at plus sign and then quotation marks and in between those don't write anything just put a space a space bar like tab space bar so it's going to give space then add is plus then quotation marks and type in the thing you want the text i'm going to type years old now it's going to show three years old with space between them and if i don't put space between them see what happens it's going to stick together so you can't read it correctly and sometimes people make mistakes because of that so you can do this so it like spaces the code out and i mean spaces the words out so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed the video make sure to like share and subscribe the video and bye i'll see you next time